angry guy here and men have abandoned society to play video games and chill. Men have abandoned society to play video games and chill. I mean, guys, what did you really expect? You know, men are walking away or rather running away from Western society. They're sick and tired of the games, the nonsense, the crap. And, you know, they're leaving. You know, they're leaving. If they're not completely grabbing their passport and flying out, which many men are doing, and then they're not looking back, they're buying a piece of land and they're living comfortably. You know, a lot of guys are... This is this is it's a final frontier. Men are retreating into their homes. And I've said this before, if women could come into a man's home and police him inside of his house, that's what they would do. You know, and that's that's ultimately what the state wants to be able to do. The state wants to be able to conduct inspections. The state wants to be able to, you know, knock on not even knock on the door, basically just tell you that, you know, open up the door and tell you they're coming inside. They don't even tell you they're coming inside because you know they have some private inspection. So you it's like, you know, you step out of the bathroom and you see, there's just a dude standing in front of you and letting you know that, you know, they, I mean, they wouldn't even speak to you. They're just walking around and looking around your house. And it's like crazy. Like they don't even have, they don't even want to identify themselves. Like this is, this is really where it's coming. It's where at, the, at this point, I've said this, we do not live in a democracy. We do not live in a republic. We live, we live in a federal corporation. Okay. We live in a complete and utter federal corporation. We live in a society where weakness is seen as a good thing. You have to understand, society has enabled weak men to survive. And this is something that has become, is, is a major problem. Because these are men who know that in a normal, healthy society, they would not be able to continue doing what they're doing. Okay? You know, these a lot of these guys are... are the, a lot of these guys, there's a, there's a certain type of disgusting behavior that they have. It's, it's just absolutely awful. Like they, they love being weak and they want to put other men down. And some of y'all don't understand what I'm saying. Some of y'all are wicked and it's like you, you know exactly what I'm saying and you're, you're, you're just trying to continue pushing this disgusting narrative. But others, you don't understand what I'm talking about when I say weak. For example, and, you know, we are all weak. Many of us are weak physically. Many of us are, are weak mentally. But we, are, but we understand these notions. We understand, you know, we understand red pill. We understand... We understand female nature. We are, you know, we understand simping. We understand these things, and we don't condone them, nor do we support them, nor are we promoting them. You understand? Do you see what I'm trying to say? These weak men, they promote these things. They promote this. They promote simping. They promote being. They promote sitting around crying all the time. They promote, you know, not getting stronger, working on yourself. They promote. Men not uh, not developing themselves. Men, they, guys, they promote degeneracy. I mean, they, they they you know they they want you to submit. They they as a man, they want you to not have any standards. You should basically have no standards at all. You should basically take everything. Like for example, men should not be masculine. Men should not stand up for themselves. Men should not be godly. God, men should not love. Men should not. You know, it, like guys, this is this 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 is these are the types of men. All right, men should put their wives before God. You know, I, it, men should worship their wives. Men say, you know, they should men should understand that women are the prize. What the heck are you talking about, dude? Women, the woman is the prize. The woman is the prize. No, the man is the prize. The the no, the woman is the prize. Why are you doing this for, man? Why are you sending out this message for? Why are you trying to tell young, send young men down this path? You know, telling young men that they're not enough or that they are, that they need to learn how to basically simp more and, you know, learn their position. Like, literally, you're putting out a feminist narrative. Why are you doing this for? You know, and you, you understand this is all they have. This is all they have. You know, they have nothing else in life. You know, these are some, these are, these are losers, you know, and it's, it's, it's a, guys, the saying goes, you know, how's it go? <laughs> you know, strong men, strong men create good times. Weak men, cre all right, let's, let's see if we can get it down. Okay. Hard times create strong men. 
Strong men create good times. Good times create weak men. And weak men create hard times. And as you can see right now, guys, we have a very weak individual that is currently leading our society here in Western society. And we are in very, very hard times. All right? You know, people, they're saying that the job, they're saying that unemployment is, is, is at an extreme low. And yet people are not able to, people are struggling to find jobs. They're saying the economy is raging. The economy is amazing. It's thriving. The economy is incredible. And everyone is suffering from infl inflation. People are now literally buying. People are literally buying like, you know, store brand stuff right now. Like everyone is looking for a, for, 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 for a way to save. And what's, what are companies doing? Things are so bad. Like Macy's, for example, is abandoning the average consumer. They are shutting down like 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 150 of their stores over the next year they're showing out over 150 of their stores and now they're just focusing on luxury they're focusing on luxury brands and products for and products for uh, for wealthy consumers what does this tell you guys the middle class is essentially gone in western society there is no more middle class and some of y'all are, are are out of your minds there is no more middle class there really is no more middle class. A lot of y'all have divorced yourself, you know, have walked away. And I get that. But there's no more middle class. Like, we are we are in hard times right now. And it's only going to get worse. As this is how this is how the, the Great Depression really ended up going. Like, this is how we ended up in the Great Depression, where people believed that things were much better than they really were. And eventually, you know, eventually you can't you can only hide the truth for so long. And then someone realizes, no, this this is absolute BS, guys. Do you do you understand the Great Recession? Do you understand what caused the Great Recession? It was caused by the whole subprime mortgage thing, okay? Where they were giving out bank loans they really should not have been living giving out, and this type of scheme was happening for a long time, a long time. You look at the stock markets and the stocks they just. The market, it just keeps going up and up and up and up and up. Back in, you know, years ago, whenever I st if the stock market experienced a massive nosedive, like lost 500 points, it was a serious thing. These days, it means literally nothing at all. Oh, the market's just lost 500 points. Okay, it doesn't matter. Oh, the market's just lost 1,000 points. Oh, well, it'll just go right back up anyway. Like, we don't, like, this is how, this is how bad it is now. This is how bad it is now. Because people have just become used to this, the most insane things happening around us. Okay? Everyone has just settled in to this madness. Just to make this very... Guys, no one is living this way. Like in other countries, no one's living like us in America. Like the, the, the cost, everything. No one's living like us. People could not live like us. They are not living like this in Europe. Life is considerably easier. Like, seriously, a lot of these people who are like, don't come to my country, blah, blah, blah. Bro, have you been to America? Like, you know, I understand, like, the women in your country are getting kind of crazy and, you know, things are getting crazy. But have you been to America? Have you experienced this life? Because a lot of these men that are saying these things, bro, you haven't experienced this life. Sweden is a much better place to live than the United States right now. I know some people are going to say that's bull. It is not. Guys, America's increasingly, the infrastructure in America is increasingly ugly. You know, like, I mean, you go to other countries and the technology, like, they're, they're guys, their subways, their bus systems, everything is, is up to date. It feels more, it's, it's way more advanced. It's just, it's insane. The streets, their societies are much safer. There's, you know, as a man, there's so there's so many programs. Like for example, you wouldn't need a course like mine. You don't. You wouldn't need this type of course in these countries because it's basically available to every. Like you don't have homeless people over there. You know, it's it's great. Like and men, in, it's like America is just designed to suck your wealth and resources out of you as a man. That that's all it's really there to do. And some of y'all are like trying to act like you know you need to. You need to keep on just playing and engaging the system. No, you don't. You have to be smart. This is a society who, that hates you as a man. And then there, there's some dudes coming after me saying that you know you need, being respectable and being respectable men, you shouldn't be. You shouldn't learn game from a pimp. Listen to me. 
these I'm not telling you to go out there and start, you know, start start getting into the into in, into it, you know, and start doing living like them and doing what they're doing, but you can learn a lot from these men because they understand female nature better than anything else. And there's so many guys who are trying to act like, oh, I'm going to be this respectable man and I'm going to be honorable and this is no one's saying that you should be dishonorable. But you have to be, you have to understand the ways of the world. You have to understand female nature. You have to understand how evil, how people, how evil people are. It's an evil world we live in. And it's like there's so many people who don't want me to speak these truths. And it's on and then when you, and then all of a sudden you go out there and you you like you just like literally have your life ripped apart and you're like in complete and utter shock. Oh my gosh, the courts did this to me. This is not right. This is so not, this is not right. It's not supposed to go like this. Bro, I told you this is how life is, but it, it, it's, it's not supposed to be like this. Oh my gosh, dude, I told you this is what's happening. I have showed you all of these examples, but it doesn't matter. It's, oh God, go away. Don't talk to me. I don't want to know. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm done. All right. I've explained this to you over and over and over how that the reality that you live in is not the same reality that is presented to you or taught to you. All right. And, but, but it's not, listen to me, you're having trouble resolving your, your, your ideologies and what you believe versus the reality of things. It's not my job to hold your hand on this. I'm just being honest with you. Okay. You're a grown up. but if you, and if you don't want to learn, if you don't want to learn, you know, then, then bro, listen, go find, like I've said this before, go find destiny. There's a guy on YouTube with blue hair. His name is destiny. He has blue hair, and he can say he can save you. Please go and find Destiny. All right, just look him up. Just search, just type in Des Streamer Destiny. All right, this guy has all the answers you need. All right, please go to him and listen to everything that he says, like gospel, and he'll help you get to where you need to go. He'll help you where you need to go. You don't need me. All right, you, you don't need you. Y'all you, don't need me. Okay, y'all don't need me. Y'all don't want to listen to Jesus, so you, I'm not Jesus, I'm not calling myself Jesus, but you don't need me, you don't want Jesus, so what y'all need is destiny, please, 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 he'll help you, he'll send you on, he'll, he'll get you, he'll get you to where you need to go, please just search for him, Des the streamer destiny, all right, he has blue hair, this guy is like an old wise sage, he will, uh, he will get you, give you the exact knowledge that y'all need, because some of y'all don't want to listen, so please go and find Destiny, and he'll 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 fix you up. He'll fix you up because he I think he's he has the answers that you that you all are really looking for, guys. If you're enjoying the content, go help the if you're enjoying the if you're enjoying the content, help get the channel to 100,000 subscribers by subscribing to the channel if you already have it, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Men have abandoned society to play video games and chill. Guys, what do you think regarding everything we discussed here today? I want to hear your thoughts, so let's talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. Just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.